Eldrick Tiger Woods has been the face of professional golf for some time. In his career, however, he has survived countless scandals. Some people have speculated that Elon somehow hurt or attacked me on Thanksgiving night. It angers me that people would fabricate a story like that. We have learned that arguably the most famous athlete in the world, Tiger Woods, has been released from a Florida hospital after crashing his own car in the wee hours of the morning. Thanksgiving night 2009 was just the start. I was married without children. Nine years later, I'm a proud American and I have two beautiful children. <laughs> but I'm no longer married. Nordegren's life exploded in 2009 when it was revealed worldwide that Woods had a series of adulterous affairs. The two were divorced a year later. Then a slew of affairs came to the forefront. What in the world, we wondered, was Tiger Woods doing around any of these people? I was living a, a life of a lie. He has to figure out his priorities in his life now. What I'd like you to do is stand with your feet together and your arms down by your side, okay? Go ahead and stand with your feet together and your arms down by your side. Are you okay? What's wrong? What are we doing? Right now, I want you to say the alphabet from A to Z with your eyes closed and your head tilted backwards. Okay, sir, what I want you to do is go ahead and place your hands behind your back, okay? May of 2017, Woods would be arrested for DUI in Florida. He was found to be passed out at the wheel with the car running. He had various drugs in his system, including Vicodin, Xanax, and Ambien. This is an NBC News special report. Here's Lester Holt. Good day, everyone. We're coming on the air with breaking news. It has to do with golf superstar Tiger Woods, who has been injured in a serious car accident in Palos Verdes, California. We're learning more about the moments leading up to this horrific scene and how Tiger Woods was rescued from the wreckage. It's tragic to look at. It's very, very sad. In February 2021, Woods was in a single vehicle crash after hitting a center divider, a tree, and rolling over. He would undergo more surgeries on his body after having five back and knee surgeries. He has a confidant in former President Donald Trump receiving the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Now, more scandal for the golf legend. This morning, explosive insinuations against and Tiger Woods officially... from his ex-girlfriend, Erica Herman. In a new lawsuit, Herman, who began dating Woods in 2017, asked to be released from her non-disclosure agreement with him. She claims their NDA is unenforceable and should be nullified, citing the Speak Out Act, a federal law protecting victims of sexual harassment and assault. This was one month ago. More from Herman. Woods and Herman began dating in 2015, while Herman was an employee at his Florida restaurant, The Woods Jupiter. According to court documents, Woods forced her to sign an NDA or else be fired from her job. Her team claims Woods, who was Herman's boss at the time, imposed an NDA on her as a condition to keep her job when she began having a sexual relationship with him. A boss imposing different work conditions on his employee because of their sexual relationship is sexual harassment. Essentially, the Woods team is arguing Herman signed Woods' NDA and any disagreements between them be settled in private by an arbitrator. They want the case halted immediately. The biggest alleged threat is Woods threatened to fire her if she simply did not sign it. This case is yet another cautionary tale about when that boundary between a professional relationship and a romantic or sexual relationship, consensual or not, there have been laws passed recently that would say those types of um, clauses and agreements are not enforceable. Herman's lawyers have brought into litigation the Speak Out Act. It prevents the enforceability of an NDA agreed upon prior to a dispute that involves essay or harassment. Now, nearly two months later, Herman is providing some needed context. Her attorney, Benjamin Hodas, would state when Woods became disgruntled with their sexual relationship, he tricked her into leaving her home, locked her out, took her cash, pets, and personal possessions, and tried to strong-arm her into signing a different NDA, he said. Now, he wants to deny her access to the courts and put this case into secret arbitration based on a highly redacted document that he claims is a contract between them. Woods attorney J.B. Murray denies the allegations against his client. He labeled Herman's claims utterly meritless. 
The Associated Press predicts the case will be a lengthy battle. As for Woods' alleged trickery. The court papers detail a scheme Woods created, telling Herman the two were taking a weekend trip to the Bahamas. But at the airport, she claims a lawyer repping Woods said she would never see Mr. Woods again, had been locked out of the house and could not return. She would not even be able to see the children or her pets again. Herman saying she was asked to sign another NDA, which she refused. That resulted in the following via the Associated Press. In her unlawful eviction lawsuit against the trust, she is basing her $30 million claim on how much it would cost to rent a property like Woods' beachfront mansion north of Palm Beach for six years of residence she was allegedly promised by the golfer and then denied. Alex Maselli, a seasoned journalist writing for Sports Illustrated, put in his column, Woods argues that the Ending Forced Arbitration of Essay and Sexual Harassment Act will not apply in this case, and therefore the arbitration clause is valid, using one of the very few cases adjudicated under the new law as support.